The countdown is on to a once in a lifetime total eclipse. Total solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse. On April 8th. On Monday, April 8th. This could be one of the biggest events of the decade on April 8th. There is a solar eclipse that is coming to the United States of America. This is an experience beyond all experiences. You can't prepare yourself properly for what this is like. This is a little bit different. Why is that? Because it goes over seven cities in the United States that have the same name. What is it? It is the name Nineveh. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you, friends. All right, my friends, here we go. We're going to get right on down to serious business because uh, it's 10 at night and I'm just now uh, getting to a point where I'm able to uh, focus and deliver the message that you need to know uh, that we are all finna partake in uh, in America. Now, mind you, uh, I have 18 year olds, 20 year olds, all the way up to 60, 70 year olds who watch my videos from YouTube to TikTok to Instagram to the uh, 2020 era page that's on Facebook. So, uh, if, it, if I do say anything and you don't understand, just table it. Trust me, somebody else understands. So I do ask the spirit of truth uh, to help me deliver this message, uh, to help people understand what is about to take place uh, tomorrow, uh, April 8th. We're dealing with the evil people. That's the first thing you need to know. But the evil that we're dealing with is um, controlled uh, by a creator. Everything that is created has a creator. So Satan has a creator. Lucifer, a.k.a. whatever you want to call it, has a creator. So what I want you to understand today is uh, the land that we stay on. Uh, it's a sinful land and we have been partaking in a lot of sin unknowingly unconsciously uh, so hopefully this video help some people understand what is about to happen tomorrow to all the people who've been doing wrong <laughs> and a spiritual awakening of freedom or sign of relief is going to happen for the people who have been seeking the truth and uh, realizing that we do have a creator who we would never be able to see. But that creator is not in the sky. That creator is in me and you. Anybody who helped you, whether you catch a flat tire here or there, run out of gas, whatever you need help with, somebody in the body got to help you. So it's no creator in the sky that's going to help us people. Only way we finna get through what we getting through now is through knowledge. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this. <clears throat> uh, we really want to start off with Matthew 12 39. And I've never picked up the uh, history book doing my videos and reading anything out of it like that. But this, this doesn't mean I'm a preacher, none of that. No, this is just the history book. And the reason I want to start off with <clears throat> Matthew 12 39. Is because it says, but he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet of Jonah. So with that being said, we need to know what Jonah had to say. So once you do your research in your history book and you find out about Jonah, they say he was in the belly of the fish for three days. But if you really do research, you find out the constellation Cetus uh, was above the eclipse that happened when Jonah went to Nineveh to warn the people. So the three days uh, that Jonah was in the whale well was actually the constellation Cetus in the sky. Not arguing with anybody about none of this stuff. Okay. 
uh, the reason why that makes a big difference is because when you had the 2024 eclipse right here that's going to happen tomorrow, it's going to travel uh, through seven cities called Nineveh. Now, the reason this makes a big uh, deal is because in 2017, you had an eclipse that went from Oregon all the way over here to uh, with North Carolina. And once you put both of them together, that makes an X across America. Where they make this X at, it's called Carbondale. Little Egypt is its name. The street that it is crossing on, the exact street that it's crossing on, you can look it up. It's called Salem. That's what blew my mind. Okay. This uh, X that marks the spot is on the Madrid fault. There was an eclipse that took place seven years ago, went right across America. There's another eclipse coming right across America. It'll make a perfect cross on the center of the nation. God made the first sign go through seven cities named Salem on August 21st, 2017. The word Salem, according to Bible, is peace. So God is saying seven times he offered peace. The next eclipse is coming. It goes through several cities here, particularly Nineveh. Nineveh, 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 Nineveh. So first we have seven cities called Salem, and now seven cities called Nineveh. Seven and seven. Seven cities called Salem, seven cities called Nineveh, and seven years apart. Right in the center of the cross is a city called Rapture. What is God's message? He's coming very, very soon. Uh, Revelation speak of having that great uh, earthquake after the moon uh, didn't shed its light and the sun turned to sackcloth. There was an eclipse, people, right there in Revelations. They just don't say eclipse, but if you know about uh, even the Messiah when he uh, died on the cross and it went dark at the 12th hour, that was the eclipse, people. Lasted three hours all the way to with 3 p.m. during the day. Actually, that's how you get two days, two nights, and Friday, and then you got Saturday your whole day, Saturday your whole night. That's how you get three days or three nights from Friday to Sunday. You don't have to push it back out to Wednesday. You just got to know the scriptures. And with me saying that, I am a part of a um, <clears throat> spiritual, uh, metaphysical, uh, divine research organization. So a lot of things that I do know uh, where really everything that I know comes from a higher uh, power um, in bodies. So I'm grateful on a whole nother level than y'all could ever imagine to be able to uh, relay this message and tie it in spiritually with you to help you understand that you do have a creator and our creator wrath is upon America and his love is... Um, going to be shown to people who really trying to keep his commandments, which is what? Love each other. Love yourself. Uh, it's just that simple. Uh, anyway, it's crossing through Texas. Texas uh, got a whole bunch of uh, man-made clouds down here now, so they not going to witness it. You got an earthquake that's going to pretty much happen. And if this earthquake happened, trust me, I don't want to be right. But if this earthquake happened, then you got 2,000-year prophecy that's happening. And then you got a seven-year judgment because this eclipse happened in 2017. Millions of people woke up. 2024, which is seven years later, uh, you got millions more people finna wake up. So doing this four minutes in about 30 seconds, uh, actually say four minutes and 28 seconds, uh, it's going to be dark within this line here. Uh, a lot of evil is going to happen that I just can't even really say on this video, but uh, it is things I know about because I'm connected with people all across the world. Uh, I have over 80,000 followers from all my pages, uh, so I'm really in tune in contact with people across the world, so I'm knowing what's going on. So this is why they want to ban TikTok or whatnot is because um, people are sharing the truth. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen Monday. 
like I say, I really don't want none of this stuff that they saying is going to happen to happen, but it's prophesied that it's going to happen. So guess what? It's going to happen. That's how I feel about it. So you just need to be prepared and know that it is a spirit um, that is orchestrating everything. It's controlled chaos. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to everybody, you know, in all these states. I don't know. But I do know in 2017, this eclipse passed through seven cities called Salem. Salem means peace. And we done had seven years. Now this eclipse is coming through Nineveh, seven cities. Uh, and Jonah told them to repent. And they had 40 days to get it together or destruction was coming. I don't think America is going to repent. So I feel spiritually this is going to be individually. Whoever chooses to adhere uh, to the first sign and not the latter sign, um, awakening can happen in your life. Um, you need to read Isaiah 2.19. You need to read Exodus 4.8. Seven planets are lining up. I'm done with these people. Uh, because once you understand that you got Aloph and Toph right here, this is Aloph, then you turn it sideways, that's your Toph. Uh, that's the Hebrew language. Once you understand all these people, yeah, you might want to be a little afraid. Afraid of uh, the wrong that you've done and you ain't asked the creator to help you, but you got a chance right now. How you do that? Finna help you on out, my friends. <laughs> Hip you on out. Here we go. All righty. This is how I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out by understand, uh, helping you understand that you, earth, heart, same letters, people. In the same letters. Look at it. Same letters. The God in you, we know that the creator does have a true name. And if you've done your research, then you know his true name is, uh, he gave him Moses, the letters, Y-H-W-H. Uh, people call him Yah, some say Yahweh. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to go with basic creator, uh, which is good. You want to be a part of the good, right? So that's how they created God. That's how they created his name from good. Uh, that's in your head region. In your head, you in heaven or hell right now. Right here in your head. The heel. This is relating to hell. That's why they say years ago that the devil was under the earth. But I just had a brain freeze on something because in reality, you can't even understand this part right here. Without understanding this. <clears throat> and this right here is you people. You got Adam. So in your history book, they wrote the man named Adam. You got elements. In the history book, they wrote Eve. Adam was created positive. Eve created negative. That's why Lucifer had to go to the woman. Because Adam was positive. So this is why the woman is so-called the weaker sex. Because uh can easily be influenced, easily be tricked. Uh, <clears throat> and what makes a woman powerful is when she gets with a man. So that's when you find the significance between man and woman being together. And once you do that, you're taking 23 chromosomes from Adam. 23 chromosomes from Eve. And you're making a baby, which is you. Meaning you're created with positive and negative in you. This is why Satan or Lucifer or the devil has the power to take over your mind and make you uh, believe in things you've never seen or been uh, proven, such as people flying off into space, um, satellites everywhere, and 
There's a whole bunch of ignorance that has happened behind people not knowing really who they are. So hopefully you understand that this is why they say Adam and Eve in the Bible, because you come from an Adam and you're made of elements. That's why you have estrogen and estrogen in everybody. Anyway, so now that you've been able to understand that part right there, then you will be able to see how good and evil is in you because you're made positive and negative. So I hope that makes sense now. Uh, you want to get sun. Why? Because the sun points up to your pineal gland. Um, the moon is the law. It points up to your pituitary gland. So once you do research and find out what your pineal gland is, find out what your uh, pituitary gland is, then you find out the importance of the sun and the moon. This is why they hid earth from us people. Uh, other than that, what I want to do is just share a couple videos from people across the plane who will uh, take out time out of their day to make videos to help people. And I just want to share it. And I just want to add my little two cents in it and let you know tomorrow is a great day for people who love the Creator. And for people who don't know the Creator, well, you're going to find out about it because everything is going to happen everywhere. And you're so caught up in your life, you're not going to be able to see and be looking at the news to try to see what's happening in every state. But they got the National Guard out. Um, it's a lot going on. But I don't want my words to be uh, taken as you got to be scared. No. what I want my words to be is you need to go within yourself. Ask the Creator to show you what's going on because you done ignorantly lived your life so many years not knowing, so you need to apologize for that part first. And and uh, if you can be humble enough in that, then he uh, can allow you to be able to do some things to help yourself open up your pineal gland and then find out what this world is really about. Other than that, Y'all have a good April 8th. You bought glasses for the eclipse? <laughs> you might want to watch the rest of this video. Somebody trying to keep you from seeing a naturally occurring event. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that. You who went out and bought some glasses for a naturally occurring event. Somebody is trying to keep you from this. And I know that may make sense to you. To uh, shield your naked eye right from the sun, across, from its rays, the plane, right? Because somebody uh, told you how dangerous the sun rays were. To make videos to help I'm here to tell you that uh, we've been sun gazing for a very long time. <laughs> how you think we got this uh, brown and beautiful? Tomorrow is a great day for people right? How you think we got so brilliant to build those uh, megaliths? That y'all still think aliens then assisted us so with. Up in your life, right. It was because of that sun. To to and it wasn't just because we was laying in it. It wasn't just because we was working in it. Right. We was looking at it as well. Um, it's a lot going on. Let's talk about the benefits words, of looking at the sun. Uh, Since it, everybody is buying glasses. Some people. No. Well, right. Let's talk about the benefits of uh, staring at the sun. Ask the creator to show right. What's going on. Um, we we begin to decalcify the pineal gland first and foremost. So you need to apologize for that. The pineal gland must be decalcified sometimes, multiple times in a life. Right, I'm gonna say it again. The pineal gland must be decalcified sometimes, multiple times in a lifetime. Other than that, right? Yeah, it's a blessing that the sun rises every day. If you ever so blessed reflection and see that, it's a blessing because you get a chance, right, to decalcify your pineal gland, but also maintain it, right? It's other benefits, right, with staring at the sun. During that time, since you done made the conscious effort to go out and look at the sun, you also, right, made the conscious effort to receive vitamins, Cause that's where the word vitamin even come from. We just vitalizing our men. Right? And how do we vitalize our men? We're going to use it. Right? We're going to absorb it and embrace it. 
And to do that, you have to be out. You have to be in it, truly in it, not just physically, but also mentally and spiritually. Can we go inside the sun and vitalize our men, Ashe? This is uh, the heart of sun gazing, right? I don't want people to think we just staring in the sun and doing nothing. And there are no activities going on in our minds. There is. There is something our spirit is doing as well. We fill the portal of the sun, those of us that sun gaze. So they trying to keep your spirit from experiencing something natural. I want to also point out this. Uh, the animals, uh, nothing else in the ecosystem is going to need glasses either. They're not even going to get glasses. But consider that they're not going to need them either. Right? Because we are part of this eclipse. Everything living, everything in the ecosystem, everything between the heavens and the earth is a part of it. Right? So uh, if the squirrels, if the birds, if the bees, the lions, the tigers, and the bears don't need no glasses, why do you reflection? I'm going to say it again. If the squirrels, the animals, the birds and the bees don't need glasses, why do you reflection? Okay, so we have to understand that uh, they're not only trying to keep us from uh, decalcifying our pineal gland, but opening and awakening our spiritual vision. Yeah, because uh, it's something that you must receive directly from the sun. How we know this? Because look what happened to plants when they receive directly from the sun. You ever give a plant indirect light and direct light? It's a difference in the plant, right? It's a difference in any individual, right? Any uh, living organism in the cosmos, right? It's a different experience once those sun rays hit your retina, once those sun rays hit your cornea. It's a different experience for your spirit. Ashe? Right, 